Jeremy, it seems like tonight you, you made a conscious effort to try to get everyone involved, uh, given all the moving parts that you have. Uh, are you actually, again, with all the new additions, just trying to get the offense in sync? Yeah, I think um, I think right now we have a lot we have a lot of scores, and so you know get the scores where they need the ball and um, get people shots, and I think that's the point guard's job. And so um, I don't need to shoot as much um, with with these guys coming back. Jeremy, speaking of defensive matchups, I think LeBron James told reporters down in Miami that he expects to guard you a little bit tomorrow night. A, I just wanted to know what you thought about that matchup, and B, do you seek out advice from a guy like Carmelo or anyone else who has faced him before? Yeah, I think uh, Melo, uh, among others, but definitely him has given me a ton of advice. Um, just not even on and off the court, everything. Um, you know, we, you know, during the off day, he was giving me advice, uh, texting me advice, and so. Um, he's definitely, you know, kind of taking me under his wing. Um, and in terms of the matchup, you know, I'm obviously uh, LeBron is a great player and a great, great defender. So, uh, you know, just got to be aggressive, continue to not change anything on my end. Jeremy, um, I flew in from Korea. Uh, you have Thank a, you. Uh, a great number of fans in Korea right now. And we did a poll, and they, there were two questions that Korean fans wanted to know. And one of them was how you were able to. Uh, balance school and and athletics at the same time, and throughout the years uh, you had to overcome a lot of obstacles, hurdles, and all that. And how you were able to fight through all that? Um, so the first one, just make sure I try to get ahead of um, school and make sure that um, I don't load up. I don't have too much homework on any one day, and and then uh, once I'm done with my homework, I play basketball until I drop. Um, and that was my my parents' rule for me growing up. Um, and then the other one was uh, How are you able to overcome? overcome the obstacles. Um, you know, I think I, I love playing basketball, and um, you know, I'm not really too worried about uh, what other people say or whether it's a racist remark or um, you know, I, I just make sure that I try to control what I do when I get on the court, and that's to have fun and give my best effort. And uh, you know, I don't really think too much beyond that. Jeremy, what was it like uh, seeing Carmelo get back into the flow of things tonight in a way that he didn't a couple of nights ago? Well, I, th I think for, for one, he definitely, you know, had a little rust in the last game. And, um, you know, this game he didn't really seem to have that. And, uh, I mean, he, I think he's doing a great job of, you know, drawing two and kicking or scoring when he needs to score and uh, running the lane. And um, I thought he played really well tonight. And, uh, he's just going to continue to improve. I mean, it's his second game back. He was out for a while, and, uh, you know, we kind of forget that. But uh, I think, you know, tomorrow night we're going to need him to score for sure. Uh, they're a really good defensive team, and uh, we're going to need Melo to be, you know, a playmaker and, and, uh, and a score. Jeremy, this gentleman uh, came from us, so I'm from Shanghai. We're flying back tomorrow. Just to quickly, two questions. One is that with uh, uh, Carmelo Anthony's involvement right now, are you trying to purposely, you know, create more chances, as uh, the coach says, sort out the problems or sort it out, you know, with him? Would that really cut your time or, you know, uh, cut your own flow a little bit or influence your own flow a little bit? That's one question. The other one is that a lot of Asians are trying to really uh, copy or follow your suit, so to speak. What kind of role model would you like to influence them or with, or what kind of role model would you like to set up for them? Okay. Um, uh, you guys are really testing my memory here. Um, the first one about Carmelo. Um, I don't even remember. What, oh, getting involved. Uh, I mean... Melo likes the, the mid post. Uh, Melo, Melo can shoot. He can drive, um, and so um, there's going to be times when he needs to, you know, get stay in the flow. And as a point guard, you know, I have the ball in my hands every single time coming up the floor. And so it's not really about my flow as it is about everyone else's. And I think that's uh, managing it, understanding. Okay, I haven't gotten him a shot in a while. Okay, he hasn't had a touch in a while. Run a play for him right here. Um, someone may come in the game. And, you know, someone off the bench, and maybe we have what we think is a mismatch, and so we're going to kind of exploit that for a little bit. And so uh, just, you know, trying to think through everything, and the coaches are helping me uh, with that. And then um, in terms of being a role model, uh, I just want to make sure uh, I live and play in a God-glorifying way. And, um, you know, I just want to, you know, kind of just be myself and it, you know, obviously inspire other kids, and but at the same time to have them not necessarily want to be me, but to try to be themselves and to try to 
chase their dreams and passions, whether it's basketball or not basketball. I mean, whatever it is, just to enjoy it and to have fun doing it versus uh, feeling pressured to succeed. Jeremy, even though you've been very humble about all this, focusing on the team success and everything, when LeBron says this is probably the biggest game we've played in a while, most watched game because of what Jeremy Lin's doing, does any part of it feel a little bit bigger tomorrow than what's been going on so far? Um, not, not really. Um, I think for us, we want to make sure um, – what we're thinking about is we want to build momentum going into the All-Star break, and we want to make a push after the All-Star break. And I think this is a good opportunity to build momentum. And um, it's a big game. Uh, don't get me wrong. We're playing a great team, and it's going to be a good evaluation of where we're at. Um, so from that end, obviously, we're excited and, and uh, ready for the challenge. But, um, you know, besides that, we're just going to try to stay consistent. And, and uh, you know, I think we don't want to get – get too high and ready for, um, you know, the, the elite teams and then lose that energy against, you know, teams with poorer records. And I think that's been a problem of ours. All right, thank you, Thanks.